In with that Bay Area exclusive, after 18 years of silence, we're now hearing from A's owner John Fisher. The billionaire has been vilified by the fan base for wanting to relocate his storied franchise to Las Vegas. Today, the 62-year-old Fisher gave me his side of the story, why he plans on leaving Oakland, his message to the fans, and will he sell this team? We arrived at the peninsula home of John Fisher not knowing what to expect. Is he the reclusive billionaire that's ripping the hearts out of A's fans? Or is he following the script of the Raiders and Warriors, who also left Oakland for the riches of a new stadium? By his request, no video or audio of our interview. Just an old-fashioned Q&A. No question was out of bounds. No question pre-screened. I started with his silence, avoiding the media since buying the A's in 2005. Such a public-facing business to own, such a community gem. Is he cut out to be a sports owner? John Fisher says, I don't think being an owner of a franchise is like being a politician. Some people may disagree with that. But for me, I got into the game because I'm a fan and because I love the game of baseball. It's been part of my heritage since I was born. So I asked why. Why leave Oakland? Fisher bluntly said, I'm doing this because I want to win. It's very difficult to be consistently great in this game if you don't have a new stadium to drive the revenues to make it all work. And then you have Swanson. Speaking of money, Fisher's DNA as an owner isn't to spend on high-profile free agents. Players get good in Oakland and then they leave. Will that change in Las Vegas? Fisher says, what I think would change in Las Vegas is our ability to keep our best players. We have the ability, if we have the revenues, to be able to retain that core group of players. But our ability to retain those players is driven by a new stadium. Make no mistake, economics are a big part of this move. The Major League Baseball Collective Bargaining Agreement states the A's have to have a binding ballpark agreement by next January in order to be part of the league's revenue sharing. Fisher says, I felt the pressure from the collective bargaining agreement. I had to have a path toward a new stadium, and having spent close to six years working with Oakland and still not having a deal led me to the conclusion that my best bet was Las Vegas. So why suffer through the community backlash, and why not just sell the team? A franchise he bought for a reported $180 million, which Forbes now estimates to be worth $1.2 billion. Fisher says, we spent $100 million trying to get those approvals. We're more committed than, frankly, any other sports team owner anywhere to try to get this to work in Oakland. We put our money where our mouth was to make it work. But it just got to the end. And as of two months ago, when we finally announced we were going to focus exclusively on Las Vegas, Oakland still hadn't raised the money that they had committed to raise back in 2021. Aside from the politics, what's his message to A's fans? Quote, since we've been involved with the team, the A's made it to the playoffs six years. We've had some great players along the way. We did an awful lot to really reach out and be a good steward of the franchise for the fans. And I'm sorry that it hasn't worked out. It's a difficult proposition to move a team, especially from an area where you grew up. But at the end of the day, I felt Las Vegas offered the A's the best chance for success to give athletics fans, wherever they may be, the opportunity to see great players and know they would be able to stay with the team over the long term. And Fisher added, it is hurtful to see those sell shirts, but he says it proves to him how passionate A's fans are. A lot of layers, a lot of questions here. So what happens now? The A's have submitted. Fisher told me that they have submitted the, to the league their formal application to relocate to Las Vegas. So that means the next step, the league owners will have to vote to approve that move. The A's have one more season before their lease expires at the Oakland Coliseum. After that, not sure where they'll play before that Vegas ballpark is completed. So how are the fans reacting to this interview? Does Fisher's apology and explanation carry any weight? NBC Bay Area's Valina Jones is at the Oakland Coliseum where the A's lost to the Royals this afternoon. As A's owner John Fisher says he has no plans on selling the team, we're continuing to see those sell t-shirts here at today's game. Fans telling me they have no plans on giving up on their message.
Obviously the fight isn't over. You know, to hear Fisher say he's not interested in selling the team or the team isn't for sale doesn't deter us at all. Dennis Biles has not missed a game in five years. And as part of the Oakland 68s, the fan group that led a reverse boycott in June and is pushing for Fisher to sell the team. Biles believes the team's history of keeping players only till it's time for a payday, including Marcus Simeon, shows a lack of commitment to keep the A's in Oakland. When he offered him such an insulting contract, I think that was really the beginning and the end for a lot of folks. You know, we saw, you know, for years, just, you know, free agents walk out the door, just, you know, trades. While some fans are already planning their flights to Vegas. I'm still going to be an A's fan. It breaks my heart. Others say they reject Fisher's claim that a move to Vegas would mean more revenue and ultimately more money to retain star players. Uh, the amount of money that you could make here is going to dwarf what they're going to do in Vegas. All that's unsure. We have, we have a proven track record. But when it all boils down, Who's going to give the most support? It's the fans. Do, does Vegas really even want the A's? And when it comes to Fisher's comments that the city shoulders some of the blame for not getting a deal done, fans say the blame is on him and no apology will fix that. It really hurts him that much to move the team out of the area, and if he can't get it done here like he promised to with the slogan of Rooted in Oakland, then why not step aside and let somebody else do it? Chance to sell the team won't stop anytime soon. Fans say it's a message they want to hit home to more than just the A's owner's box. Well, it is a big part of it is keeping our team, but also we want to spread the message that when it comes to professional sports in America, we're tired of uh, you know owners just trying to get as much money out of they can out of out of cities just to build their their ridiculous palaces. In Oakland, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News. A lot of passion about this. I've been going to A's games for 40 years. Mm. It is gut wrenching to see all this happening. Mm. A lot to digest here. We want to be very transparent in this interview. We posted the entire unedited transcript of our interview with John Fisher. You can see it right now. It's on our website, NBCBayArea.com.